Hey, do you guys remember those some uh, cheap, crappy video game consoles that your parents used to buy for you guys? Well, I bought one. Yeah, I know. Hang on. I think I have... I think I actually have one of these already. It's just, I don't... I never had this specific model. Although it looks similar to a model I had in the past, but... Yeah, this isn't a re-unboxing video. Uh, as you can see, there's still a factory fresh seal that needs to be broken, so... Yes, and by the way, I think I'm the only YouTuber that does one-handed unboxing. Okay, so I did a little mining off camera. As you can see, we got the nugget here. Let's go ahead and give me my nugget. Oh, silly me. There's still some tape, and I think I already broke the box. Which is bad because. When I got my red pixelated one of these, God, I hated that thing. That thing was a pain to hold. I mean, I loved it for what it was, but it was a pain to hold on to. Okay, so I did a little mining off camera, and I... Let's go ahead and... Whoa, it has an instruction booklet. It has an owner's manual. It has an owner's manual. We get to look at the janky UI of this thing before we even power it on. Oh, that's basically all this was. Anyways, let's ooh, let's take a look at let's take a look at this and see if it has any treasures for us. No, it's not. Okay, let's go ahead and take the nugget out. And oh god, it's a screw one. Ugh. Okay, let's take a look at the screen and. <laughs> Look at how tiny the screen is! Oh my god! Like... They had... Enough room! Oh god! I mean, I'm gonna have to get back for it anyway, so... You guys just stay here while I get... This... Dumb sticker off. And also get this battery cover off. Unflippin' believable. Okay, so my stepdad's getting a screwdriver for this thing. You know what? Once I get this unscrewed, I'm never putting the screw back on. I'm just keeping the screw off. Because I never want to bother with that again. Alright, so I did some mining off camera, and I got batteries for it, and as you can see, I took the screw off, so I never have to deal with unscrewing this thing again, so I'm just going to be playing it like this, so let's go ahead and switch it on. Oh no, not this. Not this janky UI. Which means this thing is an 8-bit. Oh, I got scammed. I got frickin' scammed. If you guys don't know, I hate this UI. Because that means there's actually no categories on it, and all the games are just on one page. This is the exact UI that was on my old one. 
yeah, no, I hate this UI. I wish I never had to see it again. But here it is. Just great. Well, anyways, it's got the frickin' monkey game on it. No, not Gorilla Tag. I remember this game. I don't know what the heck this game is. I did some research and I think it's a ROM hack. And I'm going to die. I should have known when I bought this one that it would have this UI on it. Which basically means it's an NES. Oh, and don't let this fool you. This cannot play Super Nintendo games. The last time I owned a console with this game, this UI on it, I think it had like Burger Time or something on it. I miss that one. I miss it a lot. It's it's the red one that was uncomfortable to hold. Like I miss that one a lot. This one doesn't have that game on it. So, yeah, this one's kind of inferior to that one, but hey, I, I just like the color scheme of it. I just don't like the actual games that are on it. Or... What... Or excuses for games that are on it. And the lamp is toggleable. FOCUS! And the lamp is toggleable. So yeah, I think I'm actually gonna have fun with this thing. If I do, I'll actually get back to you guys and possibly do a follow-up on just day one of this thing. But for now, I think it's gonna go back in its box until I actually need it. 